Chapter One: The Cranky Macaw. Old sailor Johnny J loved the sea. From the year he turned twelve, he started sailing. Since then, it has been sixty-six years. He has sailed across the world. He has seen many countries, but the sea was his home. He did not like to live on the land for a long period of time. He had a small cabin on an island of Guana, where he chose to stay instead with his family, which lived on a nearby island. Johnny J has had only one constant friend over the years. Crazy Coot, as he was known, spoke like a man, but with a very odd, shrieking tone. Crazy Coot and Johnny J both loved the sea, and like all sailors. Enjoyed their own company. Meeting people always made them cranky, but what made Crazy Coot really special was that he was a macaw, a kind of South American parrot. His plumage and tail feathers were scarlet in color, the rump of light blue, and the upper wings of yellow. Macaws are very intelligent and can be taught to speak. Crazy Coot had a bad temper, and when irritated, he would shout almost like humans. He loved watching old movies with Johnny J, and could imitate sounds of gunfire. He could also speak some dialogues from some movies. He loved to whistle. Whenever he saw a girl or a woman, he would whistle loudly and pretend to faint. He also threw his favorite food, sunflower seeds, throughout Johnny J's house, and loved to hide behind things. Johnny J and Crazy Coot were a well-matched pair, stubborn and solitary. Johnny J's older sister, Missy May, was not fond of the macaw. She would visit them when Johnny J and Crazy Coot were staying in their home on the island of Guana. Whenever Missy May was around Crazy Coot, he would screech at her. Then he would make sounds of police siren and gunshots and laugh aloud. Missy May, as you can imagine, was not very happy with Crazy Coot. One afternoon. Missy May came to visit Johnny J. When she did not find her brother in the house, she decided to sleep in the parlor for some time. She ignored Crazy Coot. When he did not get the attention that he wanted, Crazy Coot started muttering, and then hid behind some books. Then a thief climbed in from the window of the parlor. He started putting things in his bag quietly because he did not want to wake up Missy May. But the thief did not know about Crazy Coot, who was hiding behind the books. Out of nowhere, someone shouted, "You thief! You kill me! Leave me alone! I call police! You go to jail!" It was followed by the sounds of police siren and gunshots. Suddenly terrified, the thief stood as if he had turned into stone. The thief jumped to escape, and at the same time, the sister shot up from the chair. Surprised, the thief tripped and struck his head on the table. He fainted. Missy May then called the police, who arrested the thief. Feeling ecstatic at being saved. Missy May went to Crazy Coot to pet him, but what do you think did the already irritated Crazy Coot do? Crazy Coot said, "You thief! You kill me! Leave me alone! I call police! You go to jail!" Ah! The police froze when they heard Crazy Coot, and then burst out laughing. They understood how Missy May was able to escape unhurt.